We are doing a Muslim outreach uh, this week in Washington, D.C. Hillary Clinton is there, and we're meeting with all the leaders of the Muslim world, and it's fantastic. And while we're doing that, I don't think we're paying attention to Israel or Christians all around the world. Have you heard this reported yet? Palm Sunday, four people from an anti-Christian group attacked two pieces of religious artwork in France. Much more serious instance, democracy in action ignited Nigerian slaughter. Following the election of a Christian candidate for president, many were killed when protests over his election erupted. The country's 150 million people are almost equally divided between Christians and Muslims. I read this morning that there are bodies in the streets. But this isn't the first time Christians were subject to violence in Nigeria. Last July, eight people were killed in Christian villages when they were attacked. Last March, more than 500 people died when five Christian villages came under attack. A few months ago, a former Red Cross worker, Red Cross worker, lost his leg in a landmine explosion. They sentenced him to death. He had to be hanged because he converted to Christianity in the country we just freed and are still over there keeping them free. In Egypt, amidst the protest, 11 Coptic Christians were attacked and killed in their homes. Christians are being targeted today in Iraq. It's been horrific enough to gain the attention of just about everybody. I mean, the Pope has done it. The Pope has denounced the violence against Christians. But has it piqued the interest of the President of the United States or the news media? Have you heard that? Not so far. He has warned, however, of rounding up Muslims on the streets of America and targeting Hispanic parents in Arizona that are just out trying to have some ice cream with their kids. As always, this president has really zeroed in on the real source of our problems in America. The final chapter begins on Friday. Every new beginning comes from one beginning's end. Our one beginning's end begins on Friday. Join us. You don't want to miss it. From New York, good night, America.